generating electrical energy from the ambient temperature, vibrations, or airflow. Power harvesting, or energy harvesting, makes this possible. The advantage is a simple energy supply for hard-to-access sensors, which is useful in the field of wearables, among other things. Sensors in a user's clothing or on their body record a variety of data during sport, which is then transmitted to a smartwatch and uploaded into the cloud. There is also a wide range of applications in the automotive sector, where the engine's waste heat is a good source of energy, as is tyre pressure. A piezoelectric generator can convert the mechanical deformation of the tyre into electricity. As with the user playing sport, data on the tyre pressure or speed can then be generated and transmitted. The potential for energy harvesting in the industrial Internet of Things, the IIoT, is vast. It can be used wherever production integrates state-of-the-art information and communications technology. In the future, wireless sensors will be employed to record more and more critical parameters to increase security and reliability while reducing maintenance. Energy harvesting enables the use of these sensors independently of the energy grid and without high-maintenance batteries. For example, when a light switch is pressed, a pressure generator can generate enough energy to transmit a signal to the receiver that controls the light, meaning that the light switch can function without having to draw electricity from the grid. To make energy harvesting suitable for everyday use, all components in a system need to be 100% compatible. The task of most systems is to transmit signals. The requirements can vary widely, depending on how often the readings need to be transmitted, that is, how much time there is to harvest new energy and to charge a small storage battery. So, in addition to energy converters, some perfectly compatible components are needed, like extremely efficient microcontrollers for signal processing and equally power-saving transmitters for data transmission. To store the energy, we can use supercapacitors, which are highly efficient, low-maintenance, cost-effective and hard-wearing. For example, a T-shirt can measure the outside temperature, humidity and heart rate and analyse these data via a smartphone app. So, when in the distant future micro-submarines are injected into our bloodstream to provide medical treatment, or smartphones are operated using body heat energy, harvesting will need the right system environment. And you'll find it at Electronica 2016.